Okay, I'll try this again. Um, my name is Matt Reddy. I'm an elected public hospital commissioner in East Jefferson <laughs> County, Washington. And today, I'm going to share with you a story. And uh, see if you have any thoughts on the matter. Ready, set, go. Now, now what we're going to do is we're going to um, listen, listen to uh, a commission, hospital commission meeting on maybe March 19, 2014. Here we are at the beginning of the meeting. Okay, so the the chair of the board just introduced the meeting, East Jefferson County Public Hospital District Number Two Commission meeting, and one of the commissioners, Commissioner Bueller, is absent. That is the first thing that happened. A reasonable thing to happen in a Roberts Rules of Order meeting. What happens next? Yeah, yeah, I'm making an audio recording of this meeting as, as to help me remember what just happened. Okay, so, so the board chair, chair uh, notices that one of the commissioners, which is me, Matt Reddy, is uh, recording the meeting. So I told them before the meeting I was going to audio record it. And she asks me, to confirm, are you recording the meeting? And I say, yes, I am recording the meeting. And out of the generosity of my heart, I give a reason to justify my recording, even though you don't have to give a reason. You, In an open public meeting, you can just record it. Anyone can, any citizen of the state. So I simply, since they were... I was actually surprised they decided to even like point it out. Um, it did need to be announced. Appropriate to tell everyone that there's an audio recording going on, but I was surprised she called attention to it and to me about it. And then I was even more surprised what happened after I said I'm recording this meeting with the justification uh, because I want to remember everything. That is, that is my justification. justification. I want to remember everything. This, this is what happened next. Um, actually, that sounds like a good opening for a discussion of doing something like that. Uh, with the, one of the concerns with the Public Meetings Act, as it is being recorded, and the public hospital district is, um, is responsible for say, keeping so it can all be accessed. This is what happens after I say I want to. Um, I'm recording the meeting to help me remember. The board chair says something about the Open Public Records Act and is expressing some sort of concern. Hands it over to the CEO who says we were planning on talking about audio recordings of meetings. Now, now, where did this plan to talk about audio recordings come from? I 
maybe, maybe the board, board chair, chair and, and the CEO, CEO in response to my email announcement that of your recording said we should, we should talk about this, but I didn't email them and say I want to talk about this. I was just notifying them I'm recording. I'm not interested in discussing it. In any case, all right, oh, this is what else happens. So I'm sitting, I'm sitting there, there and he's saying there are, there are implications if you record this meeting. meeting. And, I'm and I'm really, really I'm just in shock. I'm in, I'm in shock, shock that, that what is he trying to do? Is he trying to tell me, is he trying to get me to turn off the recorder? I'm still not sure at this point. What are you, why are you talking about the implications? of my recording this meeting. I've seen many people record these meetings before. I've never seen them get sort of like the board chair and CEO sort of, I mean like a cross-examination of them about the act of recording. Anyways, it keeps going. Okay, so this is where my mind was blown. So the board, the CEO, just said according to counsel. So he's now invoking authority, counsel, and the law, the rule of law. So I'm sitting there, I just wanted to record the meeting, and now I'm being lectured about um, the authority of law that for some reason, he thinks justifies uh, what he's about to do, which is to ask me to turn off the recorder, which he is slowly building up to with all this preamble. So, um, I think what the discussion tonight was, was going to go along the lines of, of discussing at the board level, and then if the board is interested um, in pursuing that, uh, to direct the administration to develop a policy, uh, a procedure, and um, uh, a methodology to make sure that we do it correctly. We, it's in line with our Record Retention Act and Open Public Meeting Response um, team, and we do it right. Uh, and uh, so I think the recommendation from the council is that absent of the hospital doing it, that so there, so there you have it. it. I think the recommendation from council is that absent the board voting to record meetings, an individual commissioner should not record the meeting. And he's saying today we're going to talk about recording the meetings as a board and we're going to decide yes or no. And if we decide no, then, then no, no is the answer, and, then and there will no be no recording. recording. That, that is what he just said. It's, it's inappropriate for you to record this meeting right now. The board wants to talk about it, and if the board chooses to record, then we'll record meetings. If the board chooses to not record, then there won't be any audio recordings of meetings. Now, now, what does, what does this, this do to my ability to, to know, know what happened at our meetings? I've just, I've just said, said, I'm a hospital commissioner. I want, I want to record these meetings so I can, so I can remember everything that's said. That said. And you're telling me that I, that I can't do that. that. And, you're and you're telling me if, if the majority of the board votes that, that there's no recording, that, that there, won't there won't be a recording and I won't get that. I won't get to, get to know what happens at these meetings. I won't get, I won't get to remember them, other than whatever, whatever notes I take and you know whatever minutes are written down. So, I mean, I cannot remember everything that is said in a three-hour meeting. I don't have time to write it all down, 
and I don't have time to dispute with the other uh, people in the room the nitty gritty of things that were said in a meeting. And the thing, you know, what a waste of time and energy. You know what we should be talking about in a meeting is actual decisions, values. What do we want to achieve? What do we want to do with the power we have vested in us to lead a public hospital district? Not what was said at the last meeting. What was said at the last meeting is a fact. It's truth. It. We don't, we don't need to dispute it. We don't need to. Talk, we, have, we can record scientific evidence of it using a microphone, which is what I'm doing. You're saying that, according to counsel, they're recommending it. Okay. Oh, so anyways, this is all in my brain. I didn't actually say this. I'm just like I cannot believe you just said counsel is recommending that. Me, I turn it off. And this is uh, what else happened. Well, based, All based on my, on my research, research, don't, don't think that's think accurate. That's accurate. I, mean, I mean, this is a this public, public meeting. meeting. Citizens, Citizens have a certain right, right to record these meetings. meetings. I don't I surrender, don't surrender that, right that right because I'm a commissioner. commissioner. Just, like Just like each like have the right, right to vote. vote. You know, you have certain, certain rights, rights, rights to breathe. breathe like the right to take take notes. notes. I don't think it's... I would disagree with that assessment of what is... What is legal, or that this constitutes a, a board act, this is a, an act of private citizens. Well, well, it, it, okay. So, I just, I just had to come up with that on the fly based on my own research. That, because I was like trying to understand their argument, their argument being that me recording the meeting is. Um, creates a board action of recording the meeting and makes it an official record, which means then they somehow are trying to say that I no longer have the power to, to record the meeting. I have to give that power to the board because the board's will is more important than my personal will. And uh, more powerful, which is what their argument is. So I just said this is not a board act. This is a personal act. And uh, I was basically implying my personal action and personal right to record is more important and more valid and supersedes the will of the board to not have a recording made. Um, anyways, and then, so I mean, it's so it's pretty exhausting to have this kind of public dispute. There's a lot of people in the room. There's an audience. There's like every strategic leadership member is in the room. This is not just the board. This is being witnessed by uh, a bunch of very um, well-paid executives and medical professionals, as well as the public audience. And uh, this is this argument I'm saying has a big audience of people just sitting there listening to it. Okay. Okay. So, so this is a bizarre point he's making. Um, he's saying any notes I take are subject to the Open Public Records Act, saying that if I take notes on a piece of paper, those also should be archived, like the recording for seven years. That's what he just said. But listen, they had never taken our notes. They never take the board notes and archive them for seven years. They ignore them completely. And uh, so he was just stating we need to apply a standard of practice to the audio record that because that's the standard of practice we apply to the notes and other written records, but we don't do that. It was a complete farce of an argument. Maybe we should, but again, it's a selective enforcement of policy to say an audio recording is more important than handwritten notes taken. Anyways, it uh, goes on. Record is also subject to that. So it becomes part of the record. And it's a recommendation from council looking after the interest of the organization that if um, Jefferson Healthcare begins to record our meetings, that it, that it be done um, through administration uh, so that we have the tape, we have the record, um, we can. Uh, properly store it, and we can respond to any open public meeting request.
requests that, that may come down the pipe. Because it's a big thing. Um, it, uh, some hospitals uh, do indeed record their, their meetings, and it adds another layer of complexity to, to respond to open public record requests. So I think the ask, um, uh, or I think the discussion with the rest of the board is, is this something that we want to pursue? And then, and then secondly, if we are going to do it, uh, to do it right. And council, I don't think anyone is suggesting as an individual um, citizen, you don't have the right to uh, make the recording. But as a board member, council for Jefferson Healthcare is recommending you don't. Okay, so a very long-winded way of saying again, you have the right to record, but as the council recommends that you don't, as a commissioner, because it's not in the interest of the organization. That's what he's basically saying. He's saying it's not in the interest of this public hospital district to have you record this meeting. The board will decide if it's in the interest of the hospital district to be recorded. And I'm just one board member, but I've already decided it is in the interest of the people in the hospital district to have a recording. I've decided that, and I'm not changing my mind. But he's saying you don't have the power to decide that. You have to listen to counsel, according to counsel. Again, the counsel is not there. There's no lawyer in the room. This is a CEO and a chair, a board chair, claiming that this counsel, this lawyer, is completely backing them up. This counsel that they spoke to before the meeting, and who, after this meeting, I will email the board chair and say, could I have the uh, contact info, name and contact info for the lawyer that you and the CEO spoke to? And she will reply to me in email, which you can read on my website, readyforhealthcare.org, she replies to me, if you contact the lawyer, you have to pay for it yourself. So they're saying, <laughs> and then, you know, six, six years from now, they will say that the lawyers for the hospital district don't have to answer any questions from a hospital commissioner, um, an individual hospital commissioner. They only are obligated to answer questions from the majority of the board, from three board members. So, so they're, they're literally saying, saying you, can't you can't record, we talk, we talk to a lawyer, if you, if you want to talk to him, you have to pay for it, but really, but really the lawyer doesn't have to talk to you at all unless, unless you get a majority of the board <laughs> to uh, vote, to, uh, to, to, to join in and answer, ask, ask your question. question. All right, so, so he goes, he goes on that big spiel. Now again, I have to say, no, I'm recording the meeting. In, in the interest of the organization and all the implications, I'm, I'm like, so I'm pretty really flustered at this point, and I just am like, can you just clearly say, is the council, because I know I'm going to say I'm going to decline the council's recommendation. That um, in, in tell we have a policy and a procedure to make sure we can manage that recording in compliance with the uh, open public record act, um, that, uh, that we don't do it. Because it's discretionary. Uh, organizations uh, don't have to do it. And further, what I think was going to happen is that there was going to be a discussion with the other members of the board um, to decide if that indeed is the direction that they were going to give administration. Well, I appreciate the recommendation of council, but I'm going to continue recording the meeting. I think it's. I think it's a perfectly appropriate decision. I know I completely support the board um, if we wanted to officially do it, and I'm happy to do it. Um, if you feel like you need a copy and you need to store for seven years, I'm happy to provide that. Okay, so that was my second or third time during this meeting that I declined to stop recording. Now, this is the fun part. Everyone who cares about this story, pay attention really carefully. What happens next? The chair and the CEO are playing tag team here, and they're using this lawyer as part of their tag team, so it's a triple team, and what are they going to do? They've asked me to turn off the recorder, and I have refused like three times. 
what would you do next if you were the board chair or the CEO and you believed it was in not in the legal interest of that hospital commission to have a recording made in this way this is what they what do they do what do you do you have some options they could adjourn the meeting I suppose or they, or they could talk about it more with because with, there's, there's commissioners other commissioners at the table. There's, there's uh, four, four, there's five total commissioners. One is, one is absent, but, but that means that Chuck, Chuck Russell and Tony Vallejo are sitting there at the table, table not saying a word. Um, um, which is you know, you know kind, of kind of interesting. Just just so and so this is immediately, immediately what happens next. Okay. Okay. So the law, the law would require again. He's stating law, stating law like he's a lawyer, but but lawyer's not, lawyer's not there. He really, really could use a lawyer to justify and explain and, explain and stand behind all of this quoting of legal authority. And the recommendation from the council is that if if um, the recording is made on behalf of the organization and as a commissioner you should be making on behalf of the organization, that we have our own recording. Okay. Okay. For the first, For the first time. time in this, in this entire meeting, meeting <laughs> the, CEO the CEO says the recommendation, the recommendation of, of council. Is this is a little different now. The recommendation, recommendation of council is, is if, if a recording, a recording is, made is made of this meeting, of this meeting and, and if, you if you do it, it would be a recording, an official, an official, it would become an official recording of the meeting. But if you're going to make an official recording, the organization, the organization also should also make an official recording. He just said, he just said that. If you do it, he, he's, he, recommending he's recommending that they have, have to do also. it also. Okay. Okay. That's the first, That's the first time, he time he said this. No discussion with the other, with the other board members of what, of what happens after, after this realization. No discussion of what does this mean? Well, can, well, can we record the meeting? Do we have the equipment to record them? Could we also record this meeting easily today, or do we need to adjourn and buy recording equipment? None of this, None of this discussion place. takes place. Instead, Instead this is what happens. So, yeah, yeah. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? So, so she said, she said I'm, just I'm just going to have to recess the meeting, we're gonna and we're going to have to see if we can find a recording device. device. The, CEO the CEO clearly was, clearly was not surprised that this, that was, this was the exact step. next step. And so then, and so then she says, she says recessing we're recessing the meeting. We're, we're uh, going to search, search for a recording device. device. No one understood and what happened because there was no discussion. It was, it was, it was a play. It was a play. They had, a they had a playbook for what they were, going, what they were going, to going to do. Their play, their number, play one number one was, was <laughs> try to get, try to get Matt to turn, turn off the recorder by telling, by telling him all this legal, all this legal gobbledygook. See if that works. If that works. Try, two, try or two or three times Matt to convince Matt to turn it off. And if he, and if he absolutely refuses, refuses then, then recess, recess the meeting and, and go get, go get an audio, an audio recording device, device. because, because once, they, uh, recess once they recessed the meeting, they sent, they sent the, administrative the administrative assistant in the room. In the room. Very, nice Very nice woman. She ran, she off, ran off and quickly, and came, quickly back came back with a with recording, a recording device, device. It was still who was still in its box and packaging. She carefully, she carefully unwrapped, unwrapped the box and, the box took, and took out the directions and, and, and stood there and started the reading the directions to this to recording this device. device, which and I was and I was sitting there in shock, just in shock that this was all happening. Um, so, they were so they were on their their third, their third leg, leg of their plan. I guess, I guess they, they were going to, to then uh, uh, have her either figure, either figure out how to turn on the recording device or not, and then she and was going to start, gonna start recording, recording the meeting simultaneously, simultaneously to me recording the meeting, and then we would, then we would resume. Now, if, now, if that had happened, everything might everything have been, been fine for years, years to come. But, but when I saw... When I saw her standing, her standing there, there reading the instructions, instructions to this recorder, to this recorder trying to figure out how to record the meeting, record the meeting. I, was just so I was just so shocked by everything they, everything they were doing to try to interfere and discourage me from recording that I chose, that I chose to, to make a strategic, make a strategic retreat, 
in my, in my stand, stand on audio recording. I went to the, I went crowd, to the crowd, I found my, I found my friend, friend who, was also who was also there in the audience, and I asked, and I asked her if she would press, would record, press record on my recording device when the meeting, when the meeting resumed, because I did turn it off when the meeting recessed, recess, which have, I didn't have to, and in retrospect, and in retrospect it would have been actually, have been actually really good to keep it going. But I, did turn, but I did turn it off, and I brought it over to her, and I said, will you record this, the rest of the meeting for me? And she said, sure. And then I, and went, then I went back, and I said to the chair, to the chair and I, said, I said, I'm no longer going to record the meeting. And then she told, and then she told Susie, Susie to put the recorder away so they did not record it. And then my friend spoke from the audience very bravely and said, I'm going to record the meeting. Is that okay? Is there anything that will stop me? And they, none of them. No one tried to stop her, and so she recorded the rest of the meeting. So there you go. So there you go. Really, that's, really, that's all. All, everything, all that everything that happened for the six years after this is just part of basically, basically the cover-up cover up and, and attempt to whitewash the suppression of the right to record in this meeting. And because uh, nothing, there's nothing really new is offered, is offered as a justification over the next six years for why this, why this happens. A, a similar incident happens in 2016, but much, but much more uh, aggressive, aggressive language is used. And, um, and, um, and, there's emails, and there's emails that also you know, uh, show, a uh, show a lot of this uh, drama. But yeah, but yeah um, there you go. There you go. That's the sort of the run through of uh, the first meeting. Stop recording.